She's been stressing for a long time about this. Yeah. Many families, their biggest concern is the anesthesia. We explain that our preferred route is doing these under spinal anesthesia. Spinal is an injection that puts a little bit of local anesthesia back around to the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. And what it does is going to make him numb from the middle of his tummy on down. Yeah. The spinal anesthesia has been done here at UVM since the late 1970s. And it's been handed down culturally through the University of Vermont since that period of time. We have state-of-the-art equipment here at UVMMC. It's very, very sophisticated, but with all that tech, the best thing I can do is look in that baby's eyes and I know all is well. I think that's more important than all the tech that I have available in the world. UVMMC was an early adopter, really a pioneer in this, under Dr. Bayesian and it's been continued under Dr. Williams and others. I got a great reward out of teaching somebody how to do this. Any last minute questions? Yeah, okay. okay. We'll take a very good care of you, okay? It almost, it's like that magic moment, that perfect storm of Dr. Williams and his team saying, hey, I got this great thing. And we all were just open to trying it and it, it has exceeded expectations and improved outcomes beyond a measure that I would have predicted. Spinal anesthesia is unique in that we can avoid a lot of the things that come along with general anesthesia, including sedative medicines, breathing tubes, extra oxygen, because we just don't need them. Baby breathes on their own, they're awake their heart rate, their blood pressure, all those things that you have to worry about or have to adjust under general anesthesia, the baby actually is taking care of themselves. Our education of our, uh, looks much better already. Because of the expertise and the considerable experience that we've accumulated over the last 40 years, many different institutions have come to us looking for advice, looking for tips on how to start their own spinal anesthesia program. And that's manifested itself in the form of them coming here and observing spinal anesthesia and seeing how we do it, uh, and also asking us to come there to give them lectures about how to sp start a spinal anesthesia uh, program in a busy pediatric hospital. For the parents, it's almost like their baby didn't have surgery. I think we're good. We just need mom, huh? They're instantaneously able to pick them up off the bed, feed them, hold them. It's almost just like they were, went away for half an hour and they're back and take them home. It's all over and it Definitely. was good. Obviously I worried a little bit about the uh, anesthesia part of it and, and, the, and like afterwards, the kind of pain that he might be in. And, but it's mm -hmm. almost like they didn't do anything. Yeah, if he was put to sleep, it would be totally different right now. Yeah. And he's just perfect, ready to go. Being here where spinal anesthesia really originated is a great feeling because I know that we can reach more surgeons, more anesthesiologists, and most importantly, more patients in terms of allowing them to know that this is potentially an option for their child.